What's going on out there, everybody? What's going on? You're now in the cichlid hunt. I'm Mike D, and these are some of my cichlids. Just a quick update on the young underpair. Uh, before I get started, I'm gonna pan down here and get this on out the way. <laughs> and you guys can see I actually have some fry down there. There's only a few in this corner, but there's a ton of them. Down to that 20 long for now. Those are fried from this batch. Um, as you guys can see, I didn't pull all of the fish. You guys raised these Central North, North American cichlids. You guys know how these cichlids get when you pull all of the fry away from them. So that's a no-no, um, taking all of the fry away from these, these parents, uh, especially with these particular genus of fish, man. They're just, you know, notorious about turning on each other, especially when you take the, all of the fry away from them when they spawn. So you don't want to do that. Here's a quick um, update on this fish. Got these from some really, really, really good friends of mine about four months ago. Um, they've grown about two inches a piece. You guys know this is the female, that's the male. If you guys don't know, a lot of you guys in the hobby might already know that. Um, see a bunch of fry back here. They're currently now in a 125, which they won't be standing here very, very long. Kind of looking for something just a little bit bigger for them. Maybe about two, 240 maybe. Another 200 gallon, that should be good for them, at least for a while. But they'll actually be finding this tank here for, you know, a couple of more months. But with that being said, I don't want to hold you guys up too much on this tank. Um, I really, really appreciate my good friend for getting me this pair. I actually had a smaller pair that I moved on from. Got rid of that pair uh, a while back, and I kept this bigger pair that I got from them. So. With that being said, you guys can see she's in a breeding dress, man. Marvelous colors. Marvelous colors on the male. Hopefully some of these fries survive up here too. I'm um, pretty sure they're gonna grow at a faster rate than the ones at the bottom because they're still with the parents. So I think that um, myth is really, really true about the fry growing faster if they get to stay with the parents. So I'll show you guys a, um, a few more tanks of mine. Won't be all of them. I'll be doing that Wednesday, so we'll be looking out for that. I'm gonna give you guys an update on 90% of what I have going on. No, I can't show you guys everything just yet, but I'll show you guys 90%, 85 percent of what I have going on. So we'll be looking out for that Wednesday. We're gonna look at a couple of more tanks and then I'm gonna get on out of here. Beautiful pair. One more look at the uglies. Real mag, man. Beautiful. Um to another tank all right guys as i promised i was gonna go over here to another tank show you guys a little bit about um what's going on in the carpenter's tank actually if you guys can see this female is actually still in breeding dress also the male but there's no more fry i actually pulled half of their fry out to put it in a 10 gallon and I don't know what happened to the rest of them. Either they ate them or the other carpenters ate them. <laughs> That's why I pulled some because I knew they wasn't going to last very long in this tank. But as you guys can see, my setup I have right here, I have a pair on the left that's not actually paired up together, but I know it's a female. I picked up and sexed her. Um, plus, I just know from raising this one, um, the, characteristics, the characteristics, excuse me, and, and some little details on sexing those fish when they get about this size. And also the, the, the males grow a lot faster, but there's a couple of ways you can tell. Uh, kind of comes with experience, raising them, being able to spend time and watch them grow from fry. I guess that's why it's so important. A lot of people um, in the hobby, that's been in the hobby for a long time, pioneers and, and you know, people like that, they tell you that it's always good to get a bunch of fry and raise them. That's proven to be factual. Now, I see I have a sponge stuck up there. It's sitting up there getting seated in case I need it for something else. <laughs> I have a couple of those in each tank. All that extra one. But anyway, I ain't gonna talk a hold in your head. That's what's going on. This is the actual pair that's already paired up, spawned for me a couple of times. Beautiful, beautiful species. Got these from Matt over at the Sigma Dojo. Shout out to Matt. Also got this divider idea from him too. So shout out to Matt, one of my little suction cups has came off. I'll take care of that later. <laughs> but um, shout out to Matt, man. Um, this this setup seems to be working uh, for the moment. Hope it does. 
Uh, I'll keep an eye on them and make sure that nothing changes with the behavior in the fish. But with that being said, I'm down to these. I have one pair that I pulled out that's not actually paired. This is like a male and a female. Um, my buddy's coming to um, get that Wednesday. I already actually pulled these out because I cleaned the tank today. And I don't want to go back in there and do it again. So I just took them out, got them in a bucket with a heater. They should be fine for two days. I've done it numerous times. And they'll be getting out of here Wednesday also with a few um, baby Islamos, which I'm going to show in a second. So let's get a little nice look at these. Bam, bam. This is actually what I'm left of from the, I think it was 15 babies that I got from Matt um, a couple months back. And this is the cream of the crop. And I'm gonna see what's gonna go and see that male chasing that female. I gotta keep a close eye on that. But, uh, hopefully the aggression from this side will help them Let's go move to the Islam that I'm gonna be um, parting ways with Wednesday when I get rid of those carpenter signals. So stay with me. All right, as I said, we're over here at the Islam tank. Um, these are some of the babies of my first batch. I actually have another batch right now. Um, these fish, two and a half, three inches. Nice, nice um, red Islamums. Um, F2s of my F1 pair. I'm gonna be, um, my buddy gonna be taking a few of these off my hand Wednesday when I get get him those um, carpenter sickness. So don't want to stay over here too long. Just want to take a little quick glance at them. They're doing great, man. Gonna keep a few of these for myself. I'm um, doing my Islam community tank. Uh, Wooden apart waves with a few, but I'm also gonna keep some for myself. Guys interested, um, DM me. Leave a comment. I'll email you guys. They all are healthy. I actually think I can tell some male, some female already, but don't quote me on that. Another nice look at these guys. All right. All right, this is the last tank we're gonna look at for this afternoon. Um, my 150, 150 gallon tank. I have a couple of different species in this tank. A bunch of Cubans, which I think are all females. I have one big male in my 240. I'm gonna try to pair with this bigger female right here, as you guys can see right there. But I'm thinking all of these Cubans are females. Let me drop a little bit more food in here for these guys. They love to eat, man. Talk a couple of seconds about this tank before I get out of here. Feed them some bug bites. They love that stuff, man. I have a, uh, another Freddy male. And it's another one right there. I think that's a male too. I really do. A couple of pikes I got from my cousin Eric. Always coming through with the fire. Um, as you guys can see, I have my female uh, real guys. Feste right here, she's gorgeous, man. I actually have another one, I think that's a, I don't, I'm not quite sure, so I won't even call that one yet because it's so small. But I know for sure this is a female. I'm trying to get in on her a little bit. She's actually usually a little bit redder than this. I, I just cut the light on a couple of minutes ago, so she's just trying to probably adjust. But she's gorgeous. Like I said, I have a couple of Cubans. I have a couple of fry over here in this fry box. They growing nice. I just have actually that's some carpenter signals. I just have them sitting in this tank because I actually um, thought that was the best spot for them out the way, not in nobody's way. These fish don't mind them being there, they can't get to them. So I just leave them in there for a little while until they grow out a little bit. But just a quick look at the 150. Nothing fancy. Just Flower pots, grass, rocks, and water. <laughs> Ain't nothing fancy, man. Just trying to get a fish a little um, taste of home. So I'm gonna get on out of here. I'll catch y'all on the next video. Y'all look out for the premiere Wednesday. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at these tanks again, but also give you guys a look at some of the other stuff that I have. You know, future projects and what I have in mind, what's going on, upcoming stuff, everything like that. So y'all stay tuned to the sickly hut for that, you know?
all kind of good stuff over here at the Sick Love, man. Just trying to keep the hobby strong, alive, well, and um, it could be around for our kids and grandkids, man, because I just love this hobby. Beautiful female, real guys fest day. I'm gonna get on out of here, guys. I'll catch y'all on the next video, which y'all know will be coming really, really, really soon. Peace and keep the hobby strong.